take the next question here it is given a hollow circular shaft of 40 mm outer diameter runs at 500 rpm against a power of 48 kilowatts full stop find inner diameter of shaft so that shear strain does not exceed 10 raised to minus 3 take g which is modulus of rigidity 80 into 10 raised to 3 newton per mm square now this is the question which we have we will write the data first the type of shaft it is hollow a hollow circular shaft of 40 mm outer diameter so i'll write down capital d is 40 mm runs at 500 rpm speed is given against a power of 48 kilowatts so it is 48 into 10 raised to 3 watts find the inner diameter of the shaft so that shear strain does not exceed 10 raised to minus 3 shear strain is denoted by phi it is 10 raised to minus 3 modulus of rigidity AT into 10 raised to 3 Newton per mm square. Now, in this case, which we have here, they are telling us to calculate the inner diameter. So, I'll denote inner diameter by small d. Since power and RPM are given, let us try to get the torque first. So, solution. Since power transmitted by shaft is given by power is equal to 2 pi nt by 60 therefore T is equal to P into 60 divided by 2 pi n power is 48 into 10 raised to 3 rpm is 500 so therefore the torque value comes out to be 916.73 newton meter and this if I convert it will be 916.73 into 10 raised to 3 newton mm. Now after getting the torque I will say that since modulus of rigidity is equal to shear stress upon shear strain therefore modulus of rigidity is g shear stress fs shear strain is phi therefore by using this relation i will be getting the value of shear stress so therefore fs is equal to modulus of rigidity into phi the mod of rigidity is given in the question it is 80 into 10 raised to 3 into phi is 10 raised to minus 3 so this 10 raised to minus 3 10 raised to 3 gets cancelled out hence fs value is 80 newton per mm square Now once I know the value of Fs, I can use the strength criteria. So based on strength criteria, T by J is equal to Fs by R. Now 
देर फॉर द वैल्यू ऑफ टी इट इज नाइन हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटीन पॉइंट सेवन थ्री इंटू टेन रेज टू थ्री जे फॉर हॉलो शाफ्ट इट इज पाए बाय थर्टी टू कैपिटल डी रेज टू फोर माइनस स्मॉल डी रेज टू फोर एफ एस आई गॉट द वैल्यू एज एटी R is d by two. In the question, they have given the value of capital D, that is outer diameter, and telling us to calculate small d inner diameter. So here, I'll write this as nine hundred and sixteen point seven three into ten raised to three divided by this from left hand side and right hand side. If I do the calculation, here I have pi by sixteen. Capital D is given in the question as forty minus small d raised to four is equal to eighty divided by forty. So here, if I see, I have all the terms except small d raised to four. So first, I will get the answer. That is, therefore, I will keep. Forty raised to four minus d raised to four on one side will be equal to two point three three into ten raised to six. So from this small d raised to four, I will get this as forty raised to four minus two point three three into ten raised to six. The value is two twenty five point five six into ten raised to six. So if I take the square root twice, I will get my answer of small d as twenty one point seven nine mm. This is my answer. Now, if I want to show this hollow shaft, here we have a hollow shaft whose external diameter was given in the problem. As forty mm, and internal diameter we have calculated. This is twenty one point seven nine mm, and with this we complete the question.